Uh, Method Josh. Let me talk to about Method Josh just for a moment. So Josh got banned indefinitely, right? Like, let me, let me double check right now. Let me, let me open it up on this stream. Um, Method Josh. Okay, yeah, he's still gone. Josh is gone. Okay, so here's what I think. I think that I don't know why he got banned. I don't know why he got banned. He's not released a reason for why he got banned. So there's no reason to really, uh, uh, t to, to speculate. I mean, some people are like, oh, he had that girl on his stream and then somehow that girl got him banned or something that happened between them got him banned. Uh, I think that speculation's fucking stupid. It's not stupid because it might not be true. It's stupid because it just, it, there's only negativity that can come out of that. Because w w what's obviously people are going to say, they're going to be like, okay, well, because if this happened, that means it's her fault, then they then they get mad at her, right? So before you know it, you have people that are mad that Josh got banned getting mad at her, right? Even though she might not have nothing to do with it. So yeah, I, I, I don't think that's a good idea at all. That being said, uh, there's so many Twitch detectives, to be honest. Well, yeah, what else are they going to do? Um, yeah, they have nothing better to do. It's in the comments of Live Steel Reddit, but it's very TOS. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's not a. It, it's not at all. Uh, I read the comments. What you did there is you you found something that you thought was ban worthy, and because of that, it is okay. Maybe it's maybe it's new. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me go look. Let me go see. Uh, Reddit, because did Josh say this or did Twitch say this? Or are people extrapolating this from something they think should be against the TOS? Uh, l l let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way down and I'll find it. Um, where the hell is it? I'm, I don't even see, okay, here we go. Banned indefinitely. So here's the move on. Yeah, well, let me see here. The imager link is years old. On the TOS? Well, no, I'm not going to open it up on stream. Are you crazy? Okay, just give me one second here. Uh, it's a matter of time before I, uh, there's uh, pics of him in blackface and threatening messages. Okay. So did, did, is, that why, is that why Twitch banned him? Is that why? No, it's not. It, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. You don't know why he got banned. Just because you can find something that could be banned worthy that he did doesn't mean that that was the thing that he got banned for. No one knows. Too many Reddit detectives here. Uh, the blackface is before he started streaming. Uh, I don't think that matters to Twitch. Like, uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Uh, read the comment made by Bess Lull. Lull. Okay. Let me go ahead and read it. Uh, I'll open up the 500-page uh, thing, okay? Yeah. He didn't say why. He was not given a reason. He has had no communication with Twitch and has not been contacted by his Twitch manager. So he literally said, so yeah, he didn't say anything. There it is. So he didn't say anything. Wow. What, what a great, uh, could you, you could be next. Censorship is bad. They don't know. Like, you, nobody knows why this happened. Tally's always running jobs. As well. No, it's fine. Tally, Tally and I are friends. Relax. Uh, he got banned because it's fair. Um, Censorship is a word that people use. Like, yes, obviously some censorship is good. There's plenty of people that there's plenty of good forms of censorship. Hmm. So example, yeah. Um, also, uh, I think death threats should be censored. I think that should be a permanent ban. 
Uh, any sort of, like, threat of, like, actual real-life violence should be an immediate permanent ban. Uh, let's see, what else besides that? that? That, those are the main things, right? All censorship is wrong? Okay. Okay, post your, post your home address. It's not censorship? No, it, it, the, it, the, the point is the same. There's information out there that people don't want to share because they're worried about what could happen to it. Yeah, they could get fucking banned. Like, this is... Don't get banned? No, they're, they're stupid and naive. To think that you want people... Like, uh, th like, doxing is, like, bad censorship is ridiculous. So once you start saying that, you know, you get out of the, the frame of that, okay, doxing is probably bad. Uh, what are other things that are bad, right? Imagine... Baiting doxing? Well, I, it's not about baiting doxing. It's the, the point is that there are plenty of things out there like that that people don't want to. Self-censorship, yes. Censorship, no. So do you not want people to post their, uh, uh, their, their address, right? Like, imagine, like, I got mad at somebody, right? Uh, yeah, we'll listen to this song. Um, imagine if I get mad at somebody, right? And then I post all their personal information. Right? Like, their photograph, uh, y you know, their home address, where they work, etc. And I post this on my stream. Do you think that I should get banned for that? Yeah, I should. Okay, so then you're for censorship. Okay, great. Good. We're in agreement. So basically, I, I do want to make one statement here. Uh, and this is something I, I wanted to say. Is that I don't think that Method Josh did anything on his stream that is ban worthy. Right? Like, I, I don't think that there's anything that, that he did that should have gotten him banned. Uh, now, I, I know that some people might disagree or whatever, but I, I don't think that he really... He, he didn't do anything got got permanent, right? He got banned, but he got banned indefinitely. So, uh, we don't know how long that's, that's going to be. Uh, all we know is that he got banned indefinitely. Uh, obviously, that really kind of sucks. Uh, I, I don't know if that's going to affect like his uh, his membership in Method. I have no idea. But the only thing that I have to say is that it, it's always as bad whenever somebody gets banned on the platform, right? I mean, there are very few instances. Like the only people that I think should have ever gotten banned on Twitch were the people that did that bullshit thing with CS:GO Lotto. Like, if I was Twitch, I would have perma banned all of them. Uh, besides that, though, I, I don't really give a shit. Uh, and, and like, yeah, I, I, I would have permabanned all of them, every single one of them, like, 100%. Uh, watch Plav's new video? I can't because he's banned on Twitch. Uh, I, I would watch it if I could. Unfortunately, I'm not able to. Uh, yeah, I, I would have immediately permabanned them. It's so bad for them, uh, to just have people like that on the platform. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Phantom Ward? Yeah, exactly. I would have immediately permabanned them. Pretty much ignoring questions. Uh, they revolve around Josh. Maybe he's out of method. Well, no, he probably just doesn't want to talk about it. I mean, like, the thing is that people always want more information than what people are usually able to share or willing to share. So people always have, like, all these ideas, right, of, like, why something happened. And it's like, as soon as somebody gets banned, people invent eight different reasons and eight different ways for it to make sense that they got banned. Because people just like making sense out of things, right? It's the same as you look at a cloud and you say it's a lion. It's not a lion, it's a fucking cloud. But you say it's a lion because your brain wants to make sense out of it. That's just the way that things go. And um, at a certain point, like, it's kind of annoying that that happens with people, right? Because I think it can negatively affect them. But it also is just the nature of people. And there's nothing that you're really going to do about that. I would be very disappointed. And also, like, nobody knows. Like, Josh could have done something absolutely terrible and we don't know. But I don't think that it's it's... I don't think it's healthy or productive to have conversations talking about hypotheticals like that. So uh, it's not good for him even. So I, I, I'm not going to do that. The only thing that I'm really going to say is that uh, I, I hope that Twitch made the right decision. And the odds are whenever somebody gets permabanned, uh, y you know, I always do get very, uh, uh, very skeptical. And uh, I wish actually like in certain cases with like high profile people being suspended, uh, I wish Twitch would just talk about them. Like, I, I really think that's, that's what they should do. They should actually just, like, come out and say, like, listen, this is what happened. Or they make a tweet that, like, indirectly references it. And, and that way people can understand, like, why things happen. Because there's, like, very little trust that, like, Twitch has with the community. And if Twitch was able to do that, it would increase the amount of trust that people have with them by a lot. And I think that it would actually be a lot better for the game. Or not the game, but the website, if they did that. <laughs> the fuck is this? Mech Knight shut. Okay, I don't need that. 
Okay, let me go turn in these quests. Uh, can't they get sued for that? Uh, I don't know if they can get sued for that or not, honestly. Uh, but they could always, like, reference it or talk about it indirectly, which I, I don't think they could get sued for. But I mean, like, m maybe, but probably not. It's hard really for me to say. Uh, they can't because it'll show their, their socialist political agenda. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, I, I don't think that he got banned for socialist political agenda. Uh, it just seems kind of unlikely. I, I mean, like, obviously, hey, you never know. It could happen. But uh, it just seems a little bit stupid to me. Uh, I do think that, obviously, like, Twitch, as well as a lot of these other companies, do have, like, a... They, they do have a political direction they want to kind of create content in. Uh, I think that's absolutely true. Yeah, sure. But, like... I, I don't think everybody getting banned is necessarily an outcome of that social political uh, direction that they want to do things in. Uh, you can be well known enough to get banned for an agenda and nobody cared about your personal views. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I think that like hypothetically, if Twitch ever started banning people for like their agenda or like their political views, uh, I think everybody would kind of disagree with that. Now, it's obviously within their right to do that as far as I know, but that doesn't make it okay. Like there's a lot of things that you're able to do legally but they're not necessarily good for you to do. And so hopefully that, uh, you know, hopefully it never comes to that. When I thought, yeah, uh, be a dumbass decision. Yeah, exactly. I said the same thing about Twitter and YouTube. Well, look, I, I think there should be a conversation about there being governmental oversights about like these different social media websites being able to just remove people's accounts without any sort of oversight because of how big they are now, right? Do, do, these, do these different websites constitute as like a public forum? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but I think there should be a conversation about it. Uh, Josh threatened a girl with a knife on one of his last streams that's on YouTube. Well, if he did that, then yeah, they probably ban it. Like, if that's what they banned him for, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, yeah, that's a big mistake. Shouldn't have done that. Like, I mean, that, yeah, there it is. Nothing else really to say there. No, it's not. He didn't threaten her. The knife wasn't shown. And he was joking fucking normies. Here's the problem, is that if you can ever have things that are construed as that happening, then that's whenever Twitch gets really, uh, really upset about stuff. The, it's like there are certain... So here's an example, right? Is that, you know, like, those little things that are supposed to be to, like, preserve freshness in, like, beef jerky bags and, like, other bags of, like, stuff that you get from, like, Amazon? And it says, like, don't eat? I was going to make a joke about it being a snack on my stream. Yeah, silica gel. Yeah, exactly. I was going to make a joke about it being a snack. The reason I didn't make a joke about it being a snack is because it could be misconstrued in a certain way that could make me look bad. Right? It, this is just the nature of doing things online, is that there are certain things that I do that are probably, like, over the edge of things that could be misconstrued to make me look bad, right? Um, and, and I just do them anyway because I feel like at a certain point you can't really... Uh, you, you can't control everything you do based off of the most unreasonable person out there. Uh, do you eat vitamins? No, I don't. Uh, Josh is never joking. He's always 100% serious. Jokes are, are bad. Well, if somebody makes a joke about blowing up a school, then yeah, I'm pretty sure that Twitch is going to be mad about that, right? I, I mean, like, yeah, sure. Uh, and, like, there, there are certain jokes, like, in, in my opinion, right, I think pretty much all jokes should be okay. But whenever a joke is, like, includes a personal threat or, like, a, the threat of, like, violence or something like that, then yeah, that, that does kind of make me a little bit uncomfortable. And, and I don't really think that you need to do a joke like that. Now, is it something that should get you immediately permabanned? No. But I do think that it shouldn't happen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about XQC being banned from Overwatch League for typing tryhard7 in Twitch chat? I don't know. Go get me a time machine for two years ago, and I'll tell you what my opinion was then. But uh, no, really, like, I'm trying to remember what what, what did I even think about that then? Uh, I thought it was stupid. Like, I mean, that's really all it comes out. I thought it was a dumb decision by them. And that, that's really all there is to it. Yeah, it was dumb. Being a grown-up, asking what's an adult, not a kid. Well, no, here's the thing. It's not even about being a grown-up. There are just, like, certain things that you don't do, and it's because people, like, are kind of stupid, and I don't know really what you, uh, what you can do about that. But also, like, I, I don't joke about things that people could take very seriously, right? Especially if it happens to be, like, a real-life threat. I, in my mind, right, in my mind, where I draw the line is whenever things are actually in real life. Right, any sort of like an in-game, like a joke about like, I don't know, like a, 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 
you know, something that could be like construed as like racist or whatever. Like, I don't really care about that. But whenever it's an actual like, you know, a personal thread or something like that, then, yeah, I I, I think that usually things like that should be kind of uh, they should be moderated a little bit more. You know what I mean? And there's literally screenshots of him threatening to kill himself if he didn't get nudes. Really? Well, there's something that I learned. Actually, this is in Law and Order. Uh, it was that every screenshot that's ever produced by any individual on the Internet is 100% accurate and not faked or changed or modified in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and, and that's why screenshots from Twitter and from Discord are 100% admissible in court and uh, uh, absolute, like, solid, concrete evidence. And it doesn't matter what the, the, the picture says or anything, uh, it's just completely true. Like the Josh being an incel meme, etc. Like, I mean, who knows if that, like, how true that is. Like, he probably does it the same way. Like, for me personally, right, like, I play things up. Everybody plays things up on stream. That's fine in my mind. Uh, I, I think, like, like, lying and trying to pretend to be somebody different entirely, like, that's, you know, that's a little bit too much. But um, uh, overall, I, I think that just, like, playing things up a bit isn't a big deal, right? I, I do try to be relatively, I, I don't know, like, real with people, I guess. But the problem is that, like, I'll make an obvious joke and I'll see somebody in chat that didn't think it was a joke. Now, why is that? It's because they're fucking stupid. And uh, there's a good chance, right, that Blizzard, uh, or sorry, not Blizzard, I'm just so used to blaming everything on Blizzard, uh, that Twitch saw that and they were like, ah, you know what, we don't really like this guy and, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're going to get rid of him. It's the same thing kind of like as Pilav, right? Pilav didn't really, like, let's be honest, there's no reason for Pilav to have gotten permabanned. Uh, for taking, for like, you know, like, logically it doesn't really make sense. Like, okay, you take off your underwear and now you're permaban. Now, he had already been suspended twice, right? And, and for non-partners, I think he actually was a partner, I'm not really sure specifically what it was, right? But for a lot of people, like, after you get banned, because he got a 30-day ban, right? Uh, I, I just want to make sure that I'm accurate with this. He got a 30-day ban, right? Yes. No, no, before this, before this, uh, he had gotten a 30 day ban. So the way that it works, generally, is that you get a, you get a, a, a one day ban, 24 hour, uh, you either get a three day or a seven day, right, one or the other, then you get a 30 day, and then you're gone. So, I, I mean, that's, that seems like business as usual. I mean, to me, it's business as usual, like, I mean, but, but at the same time, like, yeah, obviously, like, I, I feel like Pilav was, like, one of those people that Twitch probably didn't like. And because Twitch didn't like him, the moment that he did something wrong, they got rid of him. And, and that's why I always try to, uh, I try to be as good of a boy as possible. So I don't, since Bear got burned, wait, what is this here? Banned uh, for this, this year? Well, yeah, since Bear has been a partner on Twitch for five years. Like, probably like five or six years. Like, of course they're going to give her a preferential and different treatment than someone who had just been banned multiple times for racism. I, I mean, of course they're going to... Of course. I mean, in any... Like, t tell any person that, that, like, actually works in, like, a, you know, a company or anything like that, uh, of course they're going to give that person preferential treatment. I didn't say he was racist. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know or care if he's racist or not. It doesn't matter. Uh, Twitch took 10k from him? Uh, well, I mean, that's part of the contract. That's the way it goes. Uh, they like you because you make money for them? Well, everybody makes money for them. Like, Pilav made money for them. That doesn't really make any sense. Okay, let's see. I'll go turn this one back in. Uh, there are photos of Josh and Blackface. Are those fake too? Well, I mean, like, let's say there are photos of Josh with Blackface. I don't know, I mean, like... Uh, I don't like the whole idea of, like, Twitch banning people based off of, like, what they do off-platform. off, off platform. I, can abide. I was actually always wondering, like, do you guys think that, uh, Blizzard didn't give Method Josh, uh, classic beta because they didn't like him? It just seemed kind of weird that, like, they didn't give it to him. Uh, it's hard really for me to know, but, like, you know, whenever every single other person gets it, and, like, Josh is part of Method and everything, like, that, I, I, I really don't like that. Uh, he did have it. Well, he did have the beta, but he didn't have it at the beginning, right? And, and that's what really matters, uh, for you to have it at the beginning. He got in with the rest of Method. Wait, so you're saying that he didn't have, or sorry, he had the beta ever since the beginning and he just didn't play it? 
Uh, because if that's what it was, Swifty had at the beginning too. Okay, well then that's completely different. All right, um, let's see. My understanding is they didn't get it. That's what a lot of people had told me. Uh, I, I guess as usual, people on the internet are, are making shit up. Yeah, but they should have given it to him at the beginning. Like, he, he's, he was a very big streamer, and uh, he absolutely deserved the classic beta. I mean, for how much he played the game and everything, like, absolutely.